Guys, I think I found the stimulus money. It's been 266 days since the first $1,200 checks were approved, which if you do the math, comes out to about $4.50 a day. But you may have heard that Congress is planning another stimulus bill for $600. These kinds of proposals really make you wonder if these politicians know just how bad some people in this country have it. I mean, there was a report recently that said that one in three families don't have enough food, but the best they can do is this one-time $600 check. $600 is about one third of the average monthly rent nationwide. It's nothing. But let's also remember that these proposals are coming from the same politicians who live in mansions, who used insider information to dump stocks before the pandemic, or who could forget that Nancy Pelosi interview where she stood in front of two $20,000 refrigerators full of food at a time when millions of Americans were being laid off. It's not that they don't know how to alleviate the crisis. They just don't care. They're too rich to be affected by it. In fact, the pandemic has actually been tremendously profitable for the wealthiest Americans. According to a report from Americans for Tax Fairness, 651 billionaires have made $1 trillion since the beginning of the pandemic. That's actually worth more than this entire second proposed stimulus bill is worth. So here's an idea, just hear me out on it. Why don't we make the billionaires pay for the stimulus? Seriously. After all, it's not like it was billionaires who were going into work, risking infection or death to make this money. That was us, that was workers. Jeff Bezos didn't really work during this pandemic. He probably sat at home eating ice cream or something while Amazon warehouse workers worked overtime to make him money. He didn't do anything to earn any of that. Or let me put it this way. If Jeff Bezos fell into a coma tomorrow and was completely removed from the process at Amazon, nobody would notice. Nothing would fundamentally change. Packages would still get sorted and all of our Nintendo Switches and our at-home workout sets would still get delivered. But if the workers decided to stop working, Amazon would stop working and the whole company would become valueless. So the $71 trillion that Jeff Bezos made during the pandemic should really belong to the Amazon workers. These billionaires actually got so rich during COVID that they could pay every single man, woman, and child in this country $3,000 and still be richer than they were before the crisis. Everyone seems to agree that working people need a bailout, but it's the people with the most money who are acting like finding the money is this super complicated issue. It's not. Nobody needs a billion dollars. Having a billion dollars is the equivalent to making $5,000 a day, every day, for 547 years. Nobody should have that much money at a time when children are starving. <laughs>